Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Joris and uh, it is February 4th today. It is Black History Month, of course. I found a video here called 15 Untold Black History Inventors that wasn't taught in school. So as we all know, the American education system is censored. The things that they teach us isn't exactly true. Like I remember in second grade, we were learning in history and they were like, oh, Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. It was actually a black man by the name of Louis Latimer that made it. I guess I'll do a whole bunch of like, you know, black history stuff for this month if for reactions. But right now we are going to be reacting to 15 untold black history inventors that weren't taught in school. Some of these I may know, some of these I may not know, but this is actually very good for me to watch because it's black history month. It's time to return to my roots. It's time to see what black people are all about. You know what it is. All right, let's do it. Most people have heard about famous inventions like the light bulb, the cotton gin, and the penicillin. But did you know that many of the products we use every day were created by black people? Here's a list of 15 of them that, until now, you probably didn't know about. Frederick McKinley Jones. If your refrigerator has any produce from your local grocery store, then you can credit African-American inventor Frederick McKinley Jones. Jones took out more than 60 patents throughout his life, including a patent for the roof-mounted cooling system that's used to refrigerate goods on trucks during extended transportation in the mid-1930s. He received a patent wow. for his invention in 1940, and co-founded the U.S. Thermo Control Company, later known as Thermo King. The company mm. was critical during World War II, helping to preserve blood, food and supplies during the war. Dr. Nice. Shirley Jackson. Dr. Shirley Jackson is an American physicist who received her PhD from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 1973. She was the first African American woman to earn a doctorate in nuclear physics at MIT. Ooh. In addition to her lengthy list of academic achievements, she also has an impressive number of inventions under her belt. Her experiments with theoretical physics paved the way for numerous developments in the telecommunication space including the touch-tone telephone, the portable fax, caller ID, call waiting, and the fiber optic cable. Dang. Today, Dr. Shirley Jackson is the 18th president of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. That's what's up. Louis Latimer. Yeah, Inventor this is the guy I was talking about. Louis Latimer was born in Chelsea, Massachusetts, on September 4, 1848. He collaborated with science greats Hiram Maxim and Thomas Edison. One of Latimer's greatest inventions was the carbon filament, a vital component of the light bulb. Working with Alexander Graham Bell, Latimer helped draft the patent for Bell's design for of the, the telephone. For the telephone. I, I said that. Alexander Graham Bell took credit for the invention, but it was actually him that did the thing. But he helped with the light bulb too. He, Like I said, it, he created the, the carbon filament that's used for it. But he made that and he also made the telephone. He made all that stuff. But we're taught in school that Thomas Edison made the light bulb and that Alexander Graham Bell made the telephone. It was this man who did all that stuff. Shoot. Marie Van Britten Brown. Did you know that the first home security system was invented by a black nurse? For real? Marie Van Britten Brown. Although she was a full-time nurse, she recognized the security threats to her home and devised a system that would alert her of strangers at her door and contact relevant authorities as quickly as possible. Wow. The original invention consisted of peepholes, a camera, monitors, and a two-way Dang. microphone. The finishing touch was an alarm button that, when pressed, would immediately contact the police. Her patent laid the groundwork for the modern closed-circuit television system that is widely used for surveillance, That's home security up. systems, push-button alarm That's triggers, up. crime prevention, and traffic monitoring. Dang. Otis Boykin. Otis Boykin's most notable contribution to science was likely the circuit improvements he made to pacemakers after losing his mother to heart failure, a contribution that has saved countless lives since. Oh, wow. But this single improvement was among a long list of achievements. Boykin had 26 patents in his name and is famed for the development of IBM computers, burglar proof wow. cash register, chemical air filters, and an electronic resistor used in controlled missiles and other devices. Wow. Ronnie G. Johnson. Yo. Did you ever enjoy water gun fights as a kid? Well, meet Lonnie Johnson, the man that gave us the most famous super water soakers. Gun, the super soaker. For Lonnie real? wasn't Dang. a toy maker. 
He was actually an aerospace engineer for NASA with a resume boasting a stint with the U.S. Air Force. <laughs> and then my man went to go making water guns. He is also working on the Johnson Thermoelectric Energy Converter, JTEC, which converts heat directly into electricity, but it's the squirt gun he created that has given us all the most joy. Charles Drew. Every two seconds someone in the U.S. needs blood. Thanks to Charles Drew, that blood is available. Drew was a physician, surgeon, and medical researcher who worked with a team at Red Cross on groundbreaking discoveries around blood transfusions. In World wow. War II, he played a major role in developing the first large-scale blood banks and blood plasma programs. He also invented the, and get ready because this name is pretty charming, Bloodmobiles. These are the refrigerated trucks that, oh, to this I've day, safely transport stored blood to the location where it is needed most. Whenever I see like World War, like movies, like World War II, you always see the big trucks with like medical supplies and blood in them. He made all that. Man, even helping us in the war. Everybody be helping us in the war. You know what it is. Marion R. Croak. In 2013, Marion Croak was inducted into Women in Technology International's Hall of Fame, a move that recognizes her remarkable achievements in tech. Croak holds do? over 135 patents, primarily in voiceover Whoa. internet protocol, VoIP, some in other areas. She Dang. has another 100 patents currently under review. That's like, that's, that's what, 200 over, like, that's, it said 135 patents that she have right now, and like another 100 that she hasn't been credited for yet. That's over 230 patents that this woman has. Yo, <laughs> that's insane. Lisa Jalopter, if you ever enjoyed an animated GIF on the web, like this one amazing clip of a kitten being scared by an iguana, then you have Lisa Jalopter to thank. Jalopter was integrally involved with the advent of Shockwave, a technology that formed the beginning of web animation. Today, you can catch Lisa at the White House in the United States Digital Service. Really? She is currently serving as the Chief Digital Service Officer with the U.S. Department of Education. Mm. Philip Imaguali. Due to cost, Philip Imaguali was forced to drop out of school at age 14. But this uh. didn't stop him from becoming one of the greatest computer pioneers of our time. In fact, he's often called the Bill Gates of Africa. As an <laughs> adult, Imaguali began studying nature, specifically bees. The construction of the honeycomb inspired him to rethink computer processing, using 65,000 processes to invent the world's first supercomputer, able to perform 3.1 billion calculations per second. Wow. Jesse Ernest Wilkins Jr. Jesse Ernest Wilkins Jr. is one of America's most important contemporary mathematicians. At 13, he became the University of Chicago's youngest student. Wilkins 13? continued his studies there, earning bachelor, Shoot. master, and eventually earning his doctorate degree in mathematics at the age of 19. Dang. His greatest contribution to scholarship was the development of mathematical models to explain gamma radiation and his work on developing a shielding against gamma radiation. His other claim to fame That's came from up. working on the Manhattan Project. At the Manhattan Project, Wilkins worked with future Nobel oh. laureate Eugene Wigner and made significant contributions to nuclear reactor physics, now known as the Wilkins Effect and the Wigner-Wilkins Spectrum. My man's was working on nukes. If you don't know what the Manhattan Project is, I believe the Manhattan Project is... We were making nukes in World War II, the, the atom bombs or whatever, that we dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in World War II in Japan. That's what the Manhattan Project is. And this man worked in that. It said that he also worked in nuclear physics, nuclear reactors and all that. And he also made lensing for microscopes and for stuff like that. That's just about all of these contributions of these inventions go into science and technology, which is literally what the world is made of today. Just about everything we know and love has been made by these few inventions that these people made. Elijah McCoy, often regarded as one of the most famous oh, I've heard of inventors him. ever, McCoy was credited for 50 inventions over the span of his career. Oh, in that's right. In he developed he, a lubricating cup. Yeah, that's what, yeah, he made some lubrication for trains. Needed, vital in avoiding sticking to the track. Yeah. The lubricating cup met with enormous success and orders for it came in from railroad companies all over the country. Yeah. It was so popular that when other inventors attempted to steal his idea and sell their own versions of the device, companies were not fooled. 
they yeah. insisted on the authentic device, calling it the real McCoy. <laughs> Garrett Morgan. Those who survived either of the World Wars thanks to a gas mask have Garrett Morgan to thank. Morgan wow. first created the safety hood to help firefighters navigate smoky buildings, later modifying it to carry its own air supply, making it the world's first effective gas masks. Wow. He also had the good sense to add a third position to the traffic signal. Yes, there was a time when traffic signals just said indicated, stop, or go, an addition that further reduced automobile accidents. Huh. Mary and Mildred Davidson. Mary and her sister Mildred patented many practical inventions. Oh, it's two women. They didn't have technical education, but they were both exceptional at spotting ways to make people's lives better. Together, they invented the sanitary belt. Later, Mary invented the moisture-resistant pocket for the belt. While disabled from multiple sclerosis, Mary went on to invent the walker and the toilet tissue holder. That looks like stuff for like women, maybe. All of the people in that video, what, 16 people? 16 people in that video made a whole bunch of inventions that are widely used by not even America, but the entire world today it's not a thing of oh they didn't make it it's a thing of they made it and no one told us they made it any reactions i continue during this month of february i most likely will try and make it black history because i mean we have the shortest month of the year and we only have a limited time to talk about black people before no one else cares anymore i'll try my best to do more of that because this is actually very good to watch but anyways that's gonna be it for me so hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace out.